Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, there can only be trust in our military when Canadians have confidence that their elected representatives will hold the military in check. But an unelected and unaccountable member of the Prime Minister's staff decided to withhold critical information from the Prime Minister, breaking that trust. Any allegation against Canada's top general is serious and could jeopardize the safety of the country and its citizens. So who told Katie Telford that the allegations against General Vance weren't a safety issue? The Defence Minister? The Privy Council? General Vance? Well, Minister. Mr. Speaker, we take allegations of sexual misconduct very seriously and immediate action uh, was taken. We need to make sure that no politician is ever involved in any type of investigation. This is why uh, nonpartisan public officials, that's where the information was uh, given to. And, the, and and it's also very important, uh, Mr. Speaker, that the previous government also followed uh, that process. We need to make sure that we look, uh, listen to our survivors and, and, uh, and making sure that we have a harassment-free workplace in the Canadian Armed Forces, something that we are absolutely committed to doing. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. And yet, Mr. Speaker, the Defence Minister and Katie Telford withheld critical information about Canada's top soldier from the Prime Minister. Tragically, the Prime Minister gave General Vance a performance bonus a pay raise and allowed him to continue in his position despite serious unresolved allegations of misconduct against him. This is reprehensible and should never have happened. Under this Prime Minister, no one is at fault. No one is held accountable. Will the Prime Minister admit that he was wrong to reward General Vance while allegations of misconduct remain unresolved? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, our government takes allegations of sexual misconduct very seriously. No one should feel unsafe at work. And that's why uh, when, when we created the Sexual Misconduct Response Centre, which provides confidential 24-7 support service to the CAF members anywhere in, in the world. We also listen to survivors, Mr. Speaker. We put in place response and support coordination um, program for CAF members who experience sexual misconduct. We have a lot more work to do, Mr. Speaker, and we will get it done. Thank you. 